Don't forget to pick up your yearbook on Thursday and Friday during lunches. Pick up your pre-ordered copy at lunch or bring along $80, tax included. Cash or check for it, the few limited extra copies available. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Petitions for class officers are now available from class advisors. If you're in the class of 2019, next year's seniors, you may pick up petitions from Mr. Geyer in 129 or Mrs. L in 101. If you're going to be a junior next year, you may pick up a petition from Mrs. Schubert in room 209. And if you're in the class of 2021, you may pick up a form from Mr. Shortis in 109 or Mr. Hershey in room 309. Petitions are due Thursday, May 17th, so don't delay. If you have any questions, please see any of the class advisors. Sophomores are reminded to get their money and order forms in for their official class t-shirt. Deadline is this Friday, class of 2020. Give this to your homeroom. Give this to your homeroom teacher. Now over to Clay with the news. How are you so charming and muscular? I ask myself that every day. What's the year? Dad, I had to listen to this jerk all morning. Can we listen to something else? When I'm driving the car, I get to choose the radio station. When you're driving, we'll listen to your radio station. Welcome to Effort of PM. Thought I'd bring it to you real smooth. <laughs> As of right now, South Korea has yet to hear. About President Trump decided to pull the United States out of the Iranian nuclear deal, formerly known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, yesterday by refusing to sign the six-month waiver required to repeatedly temporarily fit lift economic sanctions against Iran as part of the deal. The deal was initially designed to curb Iranian nuclear weapons programs by lifting sanctions imposed on the country by six other countries, including the U.S., the U.K., France, Russia, China, and Germany, who also represented the European common market. Despite American intention to remove itself from the deal, Emmanuel Macron, President of France, has stated that the French commitment to the deal will double in an attempt to prevent Iran from evolving into a nuclear state. On this day in history, Woodrow Wilson pre issued a presidential proclamation that officially established the first National Mother's Day. Just a little reminder to get your mom a card this coming Sunday. Before we head over to lunch, check out this video from our friends at Clay Elementary School. chicken fries with a whole grain roll, Mountaineer double cheeseburger, garden burger with a whole grain roll, and Italian hoagie, <laughs> PBM sandwich with yogurt or string cheese, taco salad, roasted zucchini and carrots, coleslaw, seasoned corn, red pepper strips, slash dip, pineapple, chunks, fresh fruit, or slushy. Now over to Mary with sports. In sports resorts, no matches were played. Attention to anyone planning to play football in the fall. There will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, May 15th in Coach Miller's room, room 122, immediately after school. It is important that you make arrangements to attend. We will start spring camp on Monday, May 21st. See Coach Miller with any questions. Attention all current juniors, sophomores, and freshmen interested in playing fall sports. Sign-ups will be on Schoology again this year. Sign-ups will be available from May 1st to May 18th. Sign up today. Don't put it off. Fall sports include boys and girls soccer, football, field hockey, girls tennis, girls volleyball, co-ed golf, and co-ed cross country. 
Today in sports, baseball is away at Carlisle, volleyball is at Lancaster Mennonite, and softball is home versus Penn Manor. Now back to the main couch. Winners of the seniors of Pick on a Senior Day, please submit your ideas and contracts in Marzock's room 137 by today, May 9th at 3 p.m. Attention all 9th and 10th grade students planning to attend college or another post-secondary school. We will be hosting a spring financial aid night in partnership with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency on Thursday, May 10th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. Come learn more about career exploration, post-secondary planning, and student borrowing. Don't forget to bring your laptops and your parents. This is a great opportunity to start planning for your future today. I killed that. Attention freshmen, if you still have not returned your freshman fundraiser obligations, do say ASAP. You can bring your form money and your form, or at least $2 if you lost the form to room 214. Seniors, it's time to celebrate your future direction decisions. You spent the majority of your senior year trying to decide what your future holds and where you'll be, where you'd like to be next year. All seniors who have made the decision to farther their edu <laughs> education by attending college, technical or trade school, art or nursing school, or who have enlisted in any branch of the armed services are invited to show EHS where you will be continuing your schooling next year. You can email your counselor, send them a Schoology message, or stop by the counseling office to drop off your, um, where was I? <laughs> I don't even remember. Okay, anyway, your picture will be posted on the bulletin board outside of the counseling office for everyone to see. Don't delay. Well, that's, a, that's it for us today, Ephrata. Um, Hope you have a good day. And uh, have, a good, have a good one Wednesday.